you guys? It's your boy Alex West Collects here bringing you another figure review and today we're taking a look at the WWE Mattel Defining Moments Ringside Collectibles exclusive Brett the Hitman Heart. Again, this is only available at ringsidecollectibles.com. When you guys shop, use promo code 4LIFE. It will save you 10% off your order. So the Defining Moments is back. Uh, obviously one of my favorite figures in my collection still to this day is the original Defining Moments release, Bret Hart. He came with a soft goods jacket, the Canadian flag, and the black 1997 attire. And I know all of us have been asking for Mattel to give us a cloth uh, leather jacket for your Bret Hart figures for the longest. Uh, not the attire I personally would have picked for the jacket to come with, but this is a pretty cool um, jacket with the skull on the back. So uh, this is based off his WrestleMania match versus Rowdy Roddy Piper. Uh, and I know a lot of you guys are thinking we just got an Ultimate Edition figure, which... You know, in my opinion, nothing tops the Ultimate Edition line. I love them way more than Elites. Um, in the pink attire, right? The Target uh, Legends figure just came out. This figure looks very similar, and I know a lot of you guys are wondering, is this figure really worth grabbing just for the jacket? We're going to go full in depth and uh, really do some comparisons, even with that Ultimate Edition figure, because it does share a lot of the same look, a lot of similarities, even the same head scan as, and the glasses, but... Brett does look awesome in this Defining Moments packaging. You got the Brett Hitman Heart logo of our nameplate up top. The Defining Moments logo here on the bottom with the Ringside Collectibles exclusive sticker. On the side, you will have the image of Brett Hart. Same image on the other side. On the back, you will have the read up here uh, as well as the awesome image of Brett. So if you guys want to read that, you can pause that right now. Uh, but anyways, enough chatting. Let's crack Brett out of his packaging and see what he's all about. If you are curious to see the insert that came with the Bret Hart Defining Moments figure, you will have his Bret the Hitman Hart logo as well as signature, kind of like on a like a stand here. Uh, looks pretty cool for display options if you guys want to throw in a detail for something like that. Taking a look at Bret Hart out of his packaging. So as far as his accessories go, you do get a set of open interchangeable hands for Bret to do his iconic in the ring pose calling to the crowd additionally you finally finally get a soft goods leather jacket this is the only the second time we've seen it in the mattel line for your bret hart figure since the original defining moments how crazy is that to think uh, obviously there's a little less deco on this one uh, i kind of wish they would have had a little more buckles or, or something or a strap the jacket just looks very plain. I actually did watch the most recent WWE like uh, Lost Treasures where they actually found this jacket and brought it back to Brett. Do you remember it having a lot more details? It had like a strap or a little belt that was hanging on from the front. Uh, more like a motorcycle jacket. This just looks very plain. Uh, I don't know how much I'm really feeling this right now, but if you want to look at the key selling point, obviously it's going to be the logo on the back with the skull and the bones going through it. Uh, looks pretty nice. That is pretty accurate to the design. If you guys want to get a close-up look here, uh, that looks pretty nice. But again, the jacket just looks so plain. It kind of just, not not as much effort into it. I mean, if you remember the original Defining Moments, it had the, the zipper uh, with a silver kind of detailing here. It had like some, some buns on the collar. This looks very plain. I don't know if I really care for this jacket. And again, we are getting the same head that we've seen multiple times. What is it, the Elite 95, Brett, I want to say? or I forgot what series originally saw that with that had the Chase figure. Uh, the most recent Defining Moments figure came with this head. And again, I actually do like this head scan, but I'm kind of getting a little tired of it. kind of want something new, a little more uh, fresh. Again, these glasses are the older mold. Uh, you will notice on the Defining Moments figure, once we get to comparisons, has the thinner uh, glasses uh, with the same kind of color variation here. I do like it, but uh, again, they do have some different variations out there. I'm just surprised they decided to go with kind of a repaint and again i guess this i want to say this is probably a repainted version of that uh, last elite we got i mean for the most part right but let's remove the jacket off of brett and again this fits it does fit him very nicely it comes off pretty easily uh not too much of a struggle there and again we did just get an ultimate edition figure of brett and the all pinks i'm surprised they went with this figure around this time frame let's remove the glasses too they just poured underneath in his hair and again, if you have not seen this head scan before, it does look pretty good. I know, again, when we first got it, it kind of took a little getting used to because I feel like he had this big forehead or kind of gap. But I, I do like the way it looks. Again, it is the pink singlet underneath. You'll see it's got the kind of the black trim. And again, it's just very similar to the most recent Ultimate. I keep saying that, but it just really is. That's, I'm just surprised. You know, they would go. I guess it's the moment they're paying tribute to. So uh, this is based on WrestleMania uh, versus uh, Roddy Roddy Piper. I want to say it was WrestleMania 8. 
WrestleMania 8, uh, where he fought Piper and he put him over for the Intercontinental Championship belt. So I, I guess that's kind of more of the moment than the actual gear itself. But you'll notice the hearts here on the lower part of his singlet. The kind of white and black design here. He's got the pink star on his boot uh, with the traditional black trim on the front. On the back, you will see the Hitman logo with the star. And again, this is pre-Brett before he really became the megastar he was. This was kind of like his, you know, coming out party, especially with Piper putting him over. Uh, he does have the double-jointed pinless elbows underneath. Obviously, the pink wrist tape here. Got these nice softer elbow pads, I will say. That looks pretty good. And unfortunately, it looks like they're still painting the flesh tone on these singlet brettes. Uh, I don't know if you guys can notice it here, but it is a different color from the arm. You can kind of see the pink underneath in the outline. Man, can they just go with the molded flesh tone for these brett figures? I, I mean, luckily there's not a lot of like wear. Sometimes you'll see the, the seams kind of seeping through with the paint, but I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of it. I just feel like it doesn't uh, really do the figure justice. We have quite a few Bret Hart comparisons to go through, but starting us off, I wanted to bring in the Aldo Edition figures to compare the jackets versus the soft goods. So on the very left, we have the Aldo Edition Series 2 Bret here with the black jackets. He has the nice detailing to it. And again, this is the most recent Target figure that I have mentioned multiple times throughout this review. Uh, again, more of the all pink singlet. This is pretty much a repaint of this jacket, but you can see how much more detail you get with the uh, kind of the molded jacket versus the, this leather jacket here. Next up, we have what is still probably, yes, yeah, still probably my favorite Bret Hart in my collection, the original Defining Moments release. Uh, we are getting this version redone in an ultimate that was confirmed to be coming in the Monday Night Wars line. Unfortunately, it was also announced that this version of Bret Hart in the all uh, black and pink attire will have a molded jacket. So you will not see a soft goods jacket. And again, it still seems like this jacket stands the test of time. Look at how much more detail there is on this jacket versus the new defining modes the little silver like zippers here on the front add more detail and you can see on the collar there are those little pins here i don't know if you guys can see that on camera versus this jacket here this it just looks so plain to me this just has more detail it just looks nicer i don't know man something i'm just not loving this new defining moments bret hart jacket Moving on to some ring gear comparison. So here we have both versions of the Elite 94. Yes, I want to correct myself. I said Elite 95 earlier in the video. Uh, the Elite 94 Bret Hart, we have the standard version here with the black top and the pink bottoms. And the Chase with the pink top and the black bottom here. Again, these figures are pretty much the same, right? They're just repainted. You will see the different deco, obviously, on uh, each Bret Hart. The kind of like skull logo or Bret Hart logo is placed a little differently. The tights themselves have some different designs for sure. Even the boots, if you guys can see the different colors on the stars. And even the hearts on the second leg are significantly different. But again, same formula, same head, same double jointed elbows as well. The next set of comparisons that we have are the Ultimate Edition Bret Hart figures within their ring gear. On the right, this is again the uh, Ultimate Edition Series 2. I did swap the head out with that Elite 94. I just love this head so much. I threw it on my Ultimate. Again, you can see how the attire looks versus the new Defining Moments. But I'm going to move him out of here real quick because I really wanted to compare these two. So on the left is the newest Ultimate Edition Legends target figure. Uh, and a lot of people are saying, do I really need this Defining Moments figure? Uh, you will see that the actual attire is very different. Again, it's all pink. You got the black outline on the singlet, but the actual Bret Hart skull logo here is different. It is placed differently. Uh, you will see on the side, the actual detailing on the tights is different. The boots are different. Uh, even the kind of coloring on the front seems to be a little more prevalent. I don't know if that's just because it's an Ultimate Edition uh, and it has the toe articulation. But again, on the other side, you will see the deco on the uh, tights on the bottom. Uh, very significantly different on the back even. I feel like the, I want to say the Ultimate Edition just looks more detailed. And again, this is more Bret Hart during his main event run. This is kind of uh, when Bret was really getting established, winning the Intercontinental Championship belt. Again, you'll see the head scan is the same. So uh, whether you need or not is really up to you. Uh, even the wrist tape, a little different. It's a little thinner on the Ultimate. But uh, like I was saying, it's up to you as far as a preference, which attire you like. If you really only need one pink Bret Hart, 
I'm always going to vote Ultimate Edition. That's just kind of my preference, but both look pretty good. For those of you who might have been curious to see what the leather jacket looks like on the Target Ultimate Edition Bret Hart, here it is. It does fit him pretty well. Again, similar to how it does on the actual Elite figure. Uh, but if you wanted an alternative cloth jacket for your Ultimate Bret Hart, here's how it looks. And the last comparison I have for you here is his WrestleMania opponent. We have Bret Hart versus Roddy Roddy Piper. Again, these figures look great together. If you want to recreate that iconic moment and match, you can definitely pair these two uh, together side by side. Before we wrap up here with some final thoughts, if you guys are enjoying this video review, do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button down below. Don't forget to turn on those notification bells to stay tuned for the newest reviews coming up on my channel. After this, I do have the Ringside Collectibles exclusive Blood and Guts 2-pack featuring CM Punk and MJF. So for you AW fans, stay tuned to that review coming up real soon. As far as this Bret Hart figure goes, I want to be honest with you guys. Uh, I would say pass on this figure. There's nothing that really makes me say you need this for your collection unless you're a huge Bret Hart fan or a huge fan of his Wrestlemania 8 match I think without a doubt the Ultimate Edition figure that just came out that is on shelves now at Target that you can order from Target online is way superior that jacket is way better again the only real selling point for me uh for this figure was the leather jacket and it's just it's kind of a miss for me. There's just not enough detail on it. I know for a fact this jacket has uh, more detailing that is include that is not included on here. And that's kind of disappointing. It looks very similar to like that Attitude, Best of Attitude era Triple H jacket that came out. Just a kind of plain black leather jacket. And they threw this like detail or logo on the back. And I get it. It's, it's an iconic logo. But I just I don't feel like it's enough to say that you must buy this. Again, it's so similar to so many Bret Hart's we've gotten prior. I wish we could have gotten an, an updated head scan uh, or just something a little extra. Just maybe just more detailing on the jacket. That's really my biggest sticking point. Um, this probably, without a doubt, is my least favorite figure from the set. Uh, but you know what? If you are a Bret Hart fan, this is available at ringsidecollectibles.com. When you guys shop there, make sure to use promo code 4LIFE. It will save you 10% off your order at checkout. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video review, and I'll catch you all on the next one.